Hey everybody, welcome to the City of Love online experience. My name is Brandon Davis. Thank you for joining us this Wednesday. Listen, even though we're virtual, we still want you to get ready for the most innovative, loving, orderly, vibrant, excellent experience you've ever had in your life. Before we get started, we're going to pray. Father, we thank you for this day and the blessings of this day. Thank you for allowing us to enter into your presence once again. Thank you for what you're about to do in our lives through the message and through your word. And we give you glory in advance in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, y'all, you still have time to invite somebody, call a family member, text a friend, let them know to get on the cityoflove.com and join us as Bishop and Pastor Branch starts their new series called Gaps. It's dealing with grief, anxiety, pressure, and stress. We all go through it, especially in times like these, and they're going to give us the tools to help us navigate through all these things and help us go to the next level. I hope you're ready because it's going to be amazing. I'll see y'all at the end. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the cityoflove.com experience. Uh, and today is going to be so very special. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm Lester Love, I'm my wife Fran Love, and we got a great guest for you today. Uh, we've been talking about gaps, uh, grief, anxiety, pressure, stress, in particular in this season. We got a guest that is really going to help us understand what these really mean uh, and how we can get delivered from it. Uh, her name is Dr. Rochelle Dunhams. Uh, she is the executive director and the medical director of the Metropolitan Human Services District, uh, meeting so many needs for so many people. We're glad to have you on, Dr. Dunhams. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if you know, um, but this is not necessarily an interview uh, as much as it is a counseling session mm -hmm. uh, because um, we've experienced uh, some recent grief that we're going to talk about grief today. Uh, and that is within the span of 21 days, uh, we both lost our mothers. Um, and, you know, we, Doc, I didn't know. I've counseled people that have lost their mother. I've ministered to people that have lost their mother. But I don't think there's anything that could have gotten me ready for that. No, no. Some things you have to literally experience yourself mm -hmm. to really have your own testimony, as we say. Mm -hmm. Really, really try to figure out on your own, you know, what do I pull from to mm -hmm. really get through this? Yeah. And, and you can be very, very well grounded, mm -hmm. and it'll still knock the, your sails under you. Yes, Lord. Yeah. So um, it's a human experience. Yeah. That's what makes it a human experience. And uh, um, there are things that once you regroup, mm -hmm. because you may be more grounded or you may be more connected or you have more sources of support, mm -hmm. you can pull it together yeah. sooner. But everybody, everybody struggles with grief and loss. Right. That, that tell us, give us, like, you're a professional. Mm -hmm. um, from your professional perspective, what is grief? Well, so, so can't talk about grief without mm -hmm. talking about depression. Uh -huh. okay. okay. So mm -hmm. depression is confusing for a lot of people because it is a, it is a, is a universal human experience, mm -hmm. right? And so, um, but there are degrees of depression mm -hmm. and they're defining characteristics of depression mm -hmm. that make it more of a commonplace experience. Mm -hmm. And usually that's characterized by brevity. Mm -hmm. It kind of comes and goes, doesn't hang around. Yeah. It may be situational, situation goes, it goes. Yeah. It certainly doesn't last past, let's say two weeks or so. Mm -hmm. But major depressive disorder mm -hmm. lasts beyond, it's weeks mm -hmm. of just having that cloud hanging over you. Um, and is characterized by a lot of symptoms that are physical even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so people can lose their appetite, or they can have an increase in appetite. Yeah, mm -hmm. if they're battling depression. With depression, because mm -hmm. all symptoms of depression, they can have problems concentrating or staying focused. Mm -hmm. um, they can have trouble with energy. Usually not enough energy, yeah. Um, yeah, not right. usually too much, though too much energy can often represent the anxiety that gets mixed in. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You can have trouble with sleeping, can't fall asleep, can't stay asleep. Mm -hmm. um, people can have trouble with their appetite, mm -hmm. um, too much eating, too little eating. Yeah. They can also have trouble with what is more characteristic, mm -hmm. more like hopeless feelings. Yeah. That things will never change. Yeah. It'll right. never ever change. Yeah. They can feel helpless. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any control over this. Yeah. And they can actually feel worthless. Yeah. Um, there's no value or purpose to my life. Okay. Especially in these times, Doc, here we are now. Um, we've been knowing each other for years. Mm -hmm. I will consider you a friend. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. we can't even hug each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah can't yeah. shake hands. Yes, yes. How does the yes. mind accept that? Well, it does. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because all oh. that teaches unity, 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 unity. Yeah. The power of the touch. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So how do it, we? It, touch is powerful. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have to say anything. Mm -hmm and just touch somebody, and it just goes all through you, right? It's in, in and of itself is a healer, mm -hmm. right? So one of the big problems with grief, if we switch to grief, yes. is that grief is usually precipitated by a loss, mm -hmm. yes. right? Any kind of loss can result in grief. Mm -hmm. A child losing a favorite pet, or um, losing an inanimate object that they're attached to, right. you know? If it was a, a had meaning for you, mm -hmm. and it no longer exists for you, yeah. That's loss, and that results in grief. Yeah. Now, of course, the the intensity of the attachment is going to weigh directly in how complicated the grief is, mm -hmm. or how prolonged the grief is. When you lose a significant human being, you lose a lifetime yeah. Yeah. Of, yeah. Of, of of an experience with that person, yeah. and usually, the calendar takes you through a series of uh, dates that have significance. Yeah. And we say that you really have to go through the entire calendar yeah. to get to start to really recover, yeah. because each date, significant date, has a bunch of what memories, yes. yeah. and they can flood and overwhelm you. But but you have to begin to take a turn by remembering the good memories yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. and not focusing so much on the loss. How do you consciously do that? It's a conscious thing. You've okay. got to consciously do it. You've got to make efforts. It has to be intentional. Mm -hmm. It's not a natural thing. The natural thing is to get pulled into the pain. Right. Right? Because it's so overwhelming. Especially somebody that's like your parents. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who? I mean, come on. Yeah. It's you know, next to a child. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's really complicated. The only difference there is that you have to figure out, if you've had a good experience, another thing, mm -hmm. if you've had a good experience mm -hmm. with your parents. Mm -hmm. My mother, when I lost my mother, when I think about her, I think about the joy, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. of the experience of yeah. her. But imagine if you had a complicated relationship. Now, that's the point that yeah. I can't imagine after losing my mother, the feeling that I had if my mom and I had some kind of beef. Yeah. It's complicated. It complicates. Because your mind is going to go to the memories, right? Right. Uh -huh. Naturally. Right. And, and those experiences mm -hmm. are going to determine whether those memories are good ones sure. or bad ones. Sure. And even if they're bad, sure. in order to overcome or move past that loss, mm -hmm. you've got to find a way to settle that. Yeah. that. That's, yeah. why, that's why the most important thing in life is to don't have regrets. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. you, right. you do that when you're living. That's yeah. right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so that when people are gone, it is not complicated for Absolutely. you. Right. You know, they literally are resting in peace in mm -hmm. you. Yeah. But when you have all of this turmoil and confusion in your life, while your eyes are open and you're breathing, mm -hmm. and you don't uh, deal with it, because yeah. people are classic. We're classic for avoiding pain, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And some of the worst pain we can experience is in relationships, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And so we we try to keep it moving mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. act like it's not. That's right. When it never goes away until you really deal with it, and then the person leaves, and you never had the chance to fix it, right? Or at least say yeah. what you would think. Sometimes it's just a matter of having gotten some things off of your chest, or have given the person the opportunity to write some things by bringing the conversation alive, and then letting them deal with it. Even right. that is better than acting like it hasn't happened sure. and trying to sweep things under the sure. rug because sure. we're not wired that way, mm -hmm. you know? Even if it's buried deep in our, our unconscious or our subconscious, yeah. it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. And it takes, it just takes one cue in your environment to bubble that memory up. Yeah. And if it's a complicated loss, that can truly overwhelm you for years. Sure, I, I find that, excuse me, I find that um, as the weeks move on since my mother transitioned, mm -hmm that I am searching for her scent. I am searching for images of my mother, like you said, memories, mm -hmm. you know, because she always smelled a certain kind of way to me. And so when I can smell her, it feels like she's, she's close to me, it's close to me again. When my mom was in the hospital, because my, my, my mother had a long battle with illness, mm -hmm. I remember um, taking a teddy bear from her house Okay. And so the teddy bear is in my bedroom. And every now and then, I put my arms around 
that teddy bear, mm -hmm. you know, in memory of yeah. me hugging my mom yeah. and my mom hug hugging me back yeah. because that's the way I'm getting through it right now. Absolutely. That is absolutely fair. You know, and, and, and that's like, healthy. Mm -hmm. And it's healthy for me. Absolutely. Right. You know? Absolutely. I was, um, you know, when you get busy, I, I, I jumped into work mode. I just started working and just being busy. And we were preaching every day. We preached every day yeah. for 187 days. Mm -hmm. it's just straight, because we felt like we needed to be there for the people. So we were going through all of this in the middle of that. And you mentioned the word healthy earlier when it comes to dealing with grief. What are some healthy ways that, that we can deal yeah. with, with it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. first of all, keeping busy is healthy. Mm -hmm. It is. Because remember, it is, you want to get through the moments. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to get through the days. Sure. Yeah. You want to get through the weeks. Okay. You want to get through the months, mm -hmm. right? Because time does heal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even though that is one of the most profound memories mm -hmm. of a human experience that you have, time also settles those memories too, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And the things that are immediately apparent to you when somebody is alive, mm -hmm. that's not so immediately apparent to you over time. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know how you, you, you you, you have a moment where, you know, something happens and you say, oh my God, I remember when mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you used to say that. Yeah. You know, that's because time has passed and sure. it's not apparent. It's somewhere here, uh -huh. but it's not here. Uh -huh. So you've got to get through time. Yeah. And you need to do it in a way that's not undoing you. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Now, that's so, so some people, some mm -hmm. people, let's take work for example. Yeah. Working to so much that you're not eating and you're not sleeping and you're not taking care of yourself. That's mm -hmm. working to a fault. Okay. okay. But if you're working and you're being productive as opposed to laying in the bed up, mm -hmm. thinking, yeah. your thoughts are not your friend right about now if they're not able to soothe you. Right. Uh -huh. right? right. If your so thoughts are, are, are making, are complicating things more, you have to find thoughts that soothe you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes, that's why I said when you, when you let people leave this earth mm -hmm. and it's a complicated situation, yeah. it's hard to get past those it unsoothing is. thoughts. I, I can't imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, I can't really imagine. Yeah. It was bad enough. My mother lived in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. So we had distance between us, sure. which that was bad enough in itself when, they, when my sister finally called me and told me. But then you start saying, man, should have been there. I should have seen them more. Yeah. I should have called them more. Yeah. I should have. Yeah. We had no problem. No. At, at all. Yeah. But man, that's Lord. normal. Absolutely, it is. Mm -hmm. It is because you, because you, because the natural thing is to absolve yourself in any way of any blame. It's just human to mm -hmm. do that. And blame can be that you know, if I had just spent more time with her, yeah. you know, maybe yeah. that's right. That right there mm -hmm. is the dangerous. Um, statement to make. Why is that dangerous? Because it's not real. Explain. Yeah. Real. It has. Maybe it's hypothetical. Ah, oh, right. So, so then you then you create a whole series of emotions around a hypothetical statement. Yeah. Maybe that yeah. didn't happen. Yeah. Right. You know. Yeah. But what did happen? What did happen? Yeah. What did you do though? How so, were you connected? Mm -hmm. How, and why weren't you? Closer. And was she okay with that? Mm -hmm. Did was there an understanding about that? Mm -hmm. You have to you have to go back. You have to revisit those logics mm -hmm. around why you did what you did. The things that are true. The things that are true, yes. and and the reasons why you were settled with that mm -hmm. when she was alive yeah. have to soothe you now that she's gone. Yeah. We're talking about grief um, with Dr. Michelle Dunham's, and we're in the middle of it. And as Dr. Dunham's has said, it's an inescapable. Inescapable. Emotion. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so complicated now with so many other things. Yeah. You know, with everything that's going on right now. Um, you're thinking about your own longevity, yeah. you know, your own health, and then, yeah. and then who else yeah. is going to, um, you know, part ways mm -hmm. with breath yeah. right about yeah. now? Because and it's almost like every time you pick up the phone. It's inevitable. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, normally we don't have to live with death so in our face. Yeah. yeah. But right now, yeah. it is in everybody's face yeah. because nobody is immune to um, getting sick mm -hmm. or at least contract on this virus, sure. and then you have no idea how your body's going to handle it. Yeah. And it has nothing to necessarily do with how healthy you are. No, it's not prejudice. No. No, it isn't. It's, mm. so, 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 you know, you know, we, you know and I do believe God has a sense of humor, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, figure this out, smart people. Yeah. Right? Go figure mm -hmm. this one out, right? Yeah. You know, and, and so I think 
this is where having a, a, a belief system mm -hmm. is so, so important, yeah. right? Because you, for me, mm -hmm. I am able to smile mm -hmm. because I know God's got this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm 100% yeah. convinced. Regardless of how big it is. It's, 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 you know it's not too big for him. That's right, right. right. And now it may be a little weighty for us, mm -hmm. but, but yeah. that's the way it goes. We're little human beings. That's right. right. It, it, he is putting us in perspective. Amen. Yeah. You know, because we think we all lie. Right. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? And yeah. like, here you go. I'm not going to even let you see what I'm going to control you with. How about that? Yeah. I'm going to bring it invisible for That's going to control. going to change your whole life. You can't change it. Yeah. You're just yeah. my word. That's okay. Yeah. I got something for you. Shut us all down. Yeah. All down. Shut it all down. Yeah. Quiet down the noise. The globe. Right? Yeah, the the world, world, the world. Right. He's not playing. Yeah. God's not playing. You know, not this no, 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 no. Now that's what I believe. I believe that right? too. Right? But because I believe that, yeah. I feel comfortable that it's all good. Sure. And it's going to sure. turn out. And yeah, we're going to lose. Mm -hmm. I mean, when has it? Right. He declared a decree and there weren't some sacrifices. Yes. You right. know? Yeah. And it could be me one day, right? Yeah. But it's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect because he's orchestrating. Yeah. So, so death is like that too. Mm -hmm. I lost my sister in May. Oh. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, mm -hmm. didn't anticipate it. Well, she had some cardiac issues, yes. but, but it was like what? Right. And the call and literally time yeah, stopped. Like, yeah. like stop, you did. Yeah, uh, right. uh, you know, a hard stop. Right. right? Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, no. Right. It's like a visible wall in front of you. Right. So I understand. Sure. You know how that just kind of throws you. Yeah. And for a minute there. Which is why I say, you know, you, you, sometimes you get so paralyzed that you can't even use the resources that you function with every day, yeah. right? And then, then if, you can, if you can keep breathing, keep putting one foot in front of the other, you'll, you'll start to hear him, you'll start to hear him, and you'll start to feel him again, and you'll start to be able to be reshaped back. And then the more time passes, the memories start to, you know, erode a little bit, the pain starts to get better. Time is a healer. Yeah. Yeah. It is a healer. And and when people say you just have to keep pressing on, mm -hmm. you just have to put one foot in front of the other. My mother lost my father. Um, and when we were when I was a baby, and then my she lost her mother six months after that. Jesus. Now imagine that. You know, yeah. you lost one of each other and you lost your mother. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. So I'm reminded of that. And she said she had two babies. She had to keep going. So you got to find the thing in your life that you know you have to do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you oh, have to do it well. You said something today mm -hmm. about God giving us the strength to do the things that we must do. Yes. Yes. To do what you must. Everything yes. else after that, you're like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. 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 You know, and, and for people yeah. who don't understand it, that that's really that really gonna have to be. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to be on that. We're talking to Dr. Rochelle Dunham's about this issue of grief mm -hmm. and anxiety and pressures and we oh, want to come back next week to give you more yeah um, we can talk about it from our perspective from a biblical perspective and at the end of the day we can give you good spiritual advice yeah. but sometimes yeah. you really need a professional to come in and help us to deal with this and this is what dr dunham's is doing for us today <laughs> and we'll be back next week to talk about anxiety right here at the city of experience what an amazing word. Bishop Love, Pastor Fran, Dr. Dunham, thank you so much for giving us what God gave to you. Listen, we don't want you to forget, join us every single Sunday at 9 a.m. Bishop and Pastor Fran are going to continue this series called Gaps, and it's going to continue to bless us. Join the cityoflove.com. You'll see it. If you missed part one, you can go back on demand and watch it again. But we hope you've been blessed. Love y'all. Remember y'all, love, live, and inspire. See y'all next Sunday.